Okay, follow me. Going head to head with a Uteranus. That's my idea of a good time. Oh crap, we got an Alpha Raptor there. You guys are seeing this, right? It's not just me hallucinating. I haven't even started drinking yet today. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death Look like big fun, come on, let's get it on Like that one, Finn gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy. Gaming and in this episode, we're going to go after a male Uteranus. Um, so I've gotten a lot of work done around here off camera. I just spent many hours grinding and working on the base. Uh, just to, you know, uh, more for functional stuff. I haven't really done anything too, too terribly fancy. Uh, but let me show you uh, what we got going on here. So as you can see, I have fenced in a yard now here on the base and we've got um behemoth gates up in uh, convenient locations i made a little pin underneath the tree house that follows the same pattern as the tree house if you're curious how i did that i put a ceiling up above and then i hung one of the uh, a couple of the the tall four high walls off of it to get it down to the ground so i could then line it up uh, so we got that done i got all the small uh, critters inside uh, and I've got the bear and the thylo on wander and on aggressive so if anything does get inside uh, they'll deal with them on the outside I have 
um, Chomp Jr., which I was never able to imprint because you know, Stock and I are still trying to tweak with the settings and it just it didn't happen because uh, it was set to like three days and then yeah whatever uh so he he never got imprinted which is sucks but it is what it is uh i got the carno one of the raptors and the alley uh all on aggressive and just patrolling the yard basically um up here i have put in four plant species x they're not done growing yet and three uh, more on this side. Uh, so two of them are growing. Actually, all three of them were growing, but then I guess I ran out of fertilizer on that one that's on the left-hand side. Uh, so I replanted that. As you can see, I have tamed myself an Akatina. You bake it, they're pretty easy. You just pick them up with your RG, take them to your base, feed them a couple of sweet veggie cakes, and boom, there you go. And then you just put them on Wander, and they will drop up to i think four is the max at a time um these these little gobs and the, this is essentially it's akatina paste but it's basically some mini paste they're kind of hard to pick up though it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass you have to get right in the right spot uh to pick it up but you know i just go around and as i'm doing other things and pick this up as i go and over time you get um we have 74 akatina paste okay uh, S plus has some, you know, stuff that that'll just pick that stuff up automatically. But of course we don't have S plus, so I got to do that manually. Uh, okay. Let's see what else, uh, in the base I have made and, uh, set up all of the, uh, the in game crafting stations. Well, when I say in game, I mean prior to the, uh, tech stuff. So we got a, an industrial cooker here couple of fridges we got a grill we got a kim bench i got a vault here to hold kims and kitchen types of things and here we got a, another vault that holds pretty much everything else and then let's see we've got the smithy we've got the fabricator and i made an industrial forge here and yeah so it, oh and put some lighting in too so I, I just put the lighting in on the on the crafting side not on the on the back side and uh, let's see, uh, something else I wanted to show you. Hey, you know what? I actually did want to check the fuel in here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're good. I got uh, plenty of oil, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um, and then I also tamed a an Avaraptor. So pick, pick the Avaraptor up, and I've got it in this little pen here, but it is set to wander. <laughs> And it's already picked up three Rex eggs and two Anki eggs. Uh, so we'll grab those. Uh, so if you guys didn't know this, the Aberaptor, actually it does two things for you. It um, it stimulates um, egg laying. So if you see the little pulsating egg right there on this Yudi, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and it also now, and this is new to Ascended because I didn't do this and Evolved as far as I'm aware. Uh, it'll also pick the eggs up too, which is really super useful. Um, you just, you have to have it on Wander though, so that's why I've technically it's on Wander, <laughs> so that, so that it can do all that. But in a small enough space to where it's not, it's staying within range of everything, and I can pick up the uh, get the eggs off of its inventory. Uh, okay, and then finally I tamed another level thirty five, I think it was, uh, female Rex that was just in the area, this kind of whitish purplish one here, um, for the purpose uh, again of laying eggs for us. And I went out and tamed myself a very low-level uh, Uteranus, female Uteranus, because I got to thinking, I was telling you guys, I think it was the last episode or a couple episodes ago, that um, I was just going to get a bunch of Rexes uh, and, and, or, and eventually Therese and just make exceptional kibble, which covers everything except for Uteranus. Then I got to thinking, well, shoot, why don't we just get a bunch of low-level Uteranus and make extraordinary kibble and that covers everything in the whole entire game including thyla Kaleos. um so uh, i do have you know we're going to we're going to continue to use these rexes to lay eggs but i'm not really intending necessarily to um to tame up more low level rexes in fact we could even we could even breed them um and we already have uh, a total of 10 Rex eggs, so I can already make 10 exceptional kibble uh, with those. But 
Again, I got to think this. So, well, why don't we just make extraordinary kibble? Let's just go get a bunch of low-level UDs or, or or even just, you know, one low-level female and one low-level male, and then we can breed them. Um, but I need to get the male. And then we'll just make extraordinary kibble. kibble. So that is the plan. Okay, so yeah, the plan for today then is to go out and get uh, a low-level male Uteranus. Or, I mean, we'll, we'll definitely take a high level too for breeding, but we're really mostly just interested in a low level. Okay, so uh, let's go back up here and get our uh, crossbow completely uh, repaired. Also, I, I believe I ha either already have or, yeah, I probably showed you a little montage at the beginning. So I haven't added to the video yet, of course. Uh, I did find in a drop some really nice flat gauntlets and some exceptionally nice uh, ascendant legs. So we're slowly, you know, building our equipment back up from, you know, from <laughs> losing everything in the last episode. Yeah, that was a that was a disaster. And you know the thing is too is that you guys haven't seen that yet. And, and, you know from the time that I'm recording this, but I was just editing that. And I'm going okay. That was my first mistake. Okay, that was my second mistake. Okay, that was my third mistake. And I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe I did all that shit. And I, honestly, my first mistake was not taking the time to make a, a, just a basic forge so that I could make just a basic smithy so i could make a saddle if i would have made a saddle for that thing i could have controlled it and you know we we most likely would have avoided what happened but i didn't do that because you know i got lazy i, I just figured nah, well we'll be okay and then you know uh and then i decide you know to to stop and try and grab that stupid fucking diplo egg and we lost everything <laughs> we lost all of our good equipment and we lost our 150 perfect tame female beauty it was like oh my god and that's, it's 100% my fault. So I acknowledge that and hopefully I will learn from it. So hopefully it doesn't happen again, but <laughs> we'll see about that. It's kind of hard to teach an old guy gaming new tricks, but uh, som sometimes I, I, you know, sometimes there's hope for me. I don't know. Anyway, all that being said, it's just the way arc goes, you know, it was a huge, uh, a bummer, but live and learn, right? Live and learn. We will recover, and we are starting to recover. Um, okay, so anyway, um, yeah. What do we need? We need, let's make sure that we have some Freya curry with us. We probably won't need it, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Um, let's make sure that we have, what are we going after, Uteranus? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, a, a, U, a UD, even a 150 UD will tame fine on just raw prime. So we don't really need to worry about bringing kibble. Besides, I can't make extraordinary kibble for them yet anyway. So it's kind of a moot point. Um, okay, so let's see. What do I have for fur? Just in case we get into a cold snap. Okay, so we have those boots and we have 44 fur leggings. So that, with my fortitude and the Kalian soup, I'm sorry, not the Kalian, the uh, Freya curry, we should be fine if it happens to get like really seriously cold. All right, now um, I think what we'll do is we'll just go back to that same location that we tamed the first one because there's, you know, we already got the the trap set up and there's plenty of UDs in the area. Uh, one thing I did, and I was going to test this, but I I, I didn't uh, didn't get around to it. I feel like I'm forgetting something important, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. A UD saddle. Let's bring a freaking saddle with us, and then we don't got to worry about making one out in the field, right? That's what we need to do. Looks like I need to do a little bit of repairing. Um, you know, RGs do come in and cause trouble once in a while. I do have uh, one of the raptors up here on patrol uh, duty. Um, so, you know, he makes short work of anything that does make it up here, but they, they can damage wood, so... Man, these things are a pain in the ass to try and pick up. Come on, son of a bitch. Uh, 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 right there. Okay. <laughs> they're really they're really hard to to get. Come on, wild card. Make the fucking collision boxes on those things a little bit larger. For Pete's sake. Uh, anyway, um 
I don't even remember what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, we got to build a, a UD saddle. That's what we need to do. Uteranus. We need some silica pearls. Ooh, yeah, I guess I have some silica pearls there. We might need to get some more of those. But, you know, I've got all the major works, and you know, until we start getting into the tech stuff anyways, I've got all the major workstations set up, except for the grinder. We do actually still need to do the grinder. I forgot about that. Uh, where the hell are we going to put the thing? We might, it's, it's, you know what? I'll probably just take these out, or at least some of them out. Might be able to fit the grinder in here, especially if we move that. Yeah, that's probably where I'll put it. Uh, but other than the grinder, uh, for the most part, I think I've got all of our our uh, equipment set up now so that means we don't need to do a ton of grinding until later on when we need to start grinding for saddles you know from the hopefully awesome ascendant blueprint that i will find for therizinos in particular that's the hope anyway you know if we're going hmm, we could take this guy man we don't need to take it i'm, I'm not going to get that gold famous last words right okay so we have the beauty saddle with us Let's do this. The goal is just a low level male. If we find a high level male, um, well, okay, let me put it this way. If we find a high enough level male that might be worthy of breeding, we'll grab it. But if it's like a mid range you, uh, you know, let's say between 70 and 100, I don't know if I'll mess with it just because it's going to be easier to get something lower. But we'll see how it goes. We might just take whatever comes first anyway. And then, you know, uh, or, you know, if we come across a really low level female, we might just grab it too, just because, you know, then we have another one. But what we'll do, of course, is we'll start breeding them. Now, uh, in terms of breeding in this, in, in Arc Ascended, they've changed things. I've watched a few videos so far, but I still haven't completely wrapped my brain around breeding but it's definitely different uh than it was in evolved so um it's a level 75 theory one of the things as i understand it and again i don't f claim to fully understand it yet is that you can get a mutation on a crap level dino like let's say for example you you have a really low level dino but it has two points of health mutation you can take that dino and breed it with a high level dino and get those two mutations onto the offspring um now you 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 have to, you have to luck out and get all of the good stats from the high level dino on the baby too but it's possible to do that so in other words you don't have to have uh two base pairs to begin with with those high stats necessarily um, so it's very interesting uh, and quite quite a different change, you know, from the uh, you know from the way survival evolved worked. So yeah, well, it'll be fun to you know kind of figure that out and see how it all works. All right, we got a Ute over here, and it is a level twenty male. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're here to get. It's low level. It's male. First thing, of course, we got to do is get rid of all of its minions. Um, you know what, though? Shit. He might he might not survive. Good lord. Okay. He's going to fear us. Hmm. I, I mean, we could try to kill the mammoth, but... We're going to get feared, but let, let's just try it. I don't know if this is, he's probably not going to survive, but let's just try it anyway. Yeah, at least we didn't get feared on that. Oh, you know what? I need to... Look at all the ar Oh, look at that blue arch. So pretty. What color are you, man? Or color. We know what color. What level are you? It's, I think it's like a 35 or 40. Oh man, what a pretty bird though, man. He's going to get wakes, uh, wakes, wasted. I was thinking wax and wasted at the same time. Um, is the Ute dead? Yeah, they killed him. All right. Yeah, that was just too hot. We're going to have to look for another one. There's no way we were going to 
make that work. Oh, I also have some bad news. Um, we lost our trike, um, which was my chief thatch and berry gatherer. Uh, I had to go AFK in real life, and uh, it was before I, you know, had the had the uh, yard all all fenced in, and it got killed by a saber while I was gone. So it really sucks. Boy, that bird is pretty. If I cared to go to all the effort to do an RG breeding program, which I don't, I would even grab a low level like that just to get its colors, but I'm not planning on doing any extensive breeding beyond what we breed for the boss army. Let's fly over here for a second and get stamina back. We got incoming too. Um, I may nab a high-level wolf uh, because they they make really good yard guards. We just killed a 110. Oh, there's a freaking. Uh, this guy. Perlovia. Just killing everything. When my uh, when I was working on building the fence, my plant species X killed a level 150 RG. I was like, oh man, that sucks. But what can you do? They're not anything I can instantly control. You have to manually turn them off or on. So you'd kind of have to catch it in the act and you know maybe draw the RG away or something. Not really that easy to do. Uh, we need one of you guys, too. What level are you? No, I'm not a level 40. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention, too, is, you know, once we get established with an extraordinary kibble setup, we don't even need mutton. I mean, there's just not going to be any reason to have mutton. I mean, if I ever came across a novice, I would still probably grab it, but which I haven't yet, by the way. But uh, the need for it is significantly reduced if we... If we can get going on extraordinary kibble, so you are. Ooh, you're a 145. Um, okay. Can you get out of here? That's a nice date on. I don't think it can. It's too fat. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's tame ourselves a date on first, and then we'll. Level 95 direwolf. Yeah, shoot, we might as well. Oh, you know what, though? I think they have a really high torpor drop, and I didn't bring any... Oh, that's what I forgot to do, is I forgot to bring narcotic with me. I mean, we can go back and get it, but the problem is, you know, like we learned the hard way with the thylo, if it stands back up before we get back, it can despawn, and it probably will despawn. I'm not, I'm not thinking, I was going to say, I need a, a, a pin close to the base that I can drop wilds in, and I have one. It's the one we use for the thylo. Duh. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's take this back. Um, we'll drop it in that pin so it's really close by. I'll knock it out. Then I can go grab narcotic and make kibble really quick for it, because I don't want to lose any levels on it. This could potentially be a, um you know, a breeding candidate if the stats are 
the, the important stats for a date on our health and food. Those are the two. That's all that matters. Um, so, yeah, I just don't want to lose any levels is what I'm trying to say. And if we get it back close to the house, I don't think we need to worry about it. The other nice thing about the location that I'm in and why I decided to stay there instead of go to the the little pond area, which looks nicer, is it's, it's almost smack dab in the center of the island. So it's not super far away from anywhere. You know, um, so very useful from that regard. Okay. Let's get this girl knocked out. Uh, what does Dota Dex say I need? I have a 154 crossbow, so it'll take... We can get it down in 11 sh shots if we shoot it in the head. Otherwise, it'll take 32 shots. And no chance of death, so... Gotta be getting damn close. That was at least 11, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Um, am I not hitting it in the head? Oh, okay, no, I wasn't. You gotta hit it down in the lower lip. That's kind of a weird spot. There we go, okay. Easier said than done, right? Why the hell can't we just get the... Just use the head, you know? There we go. Nope, that wasn't it either. It's like the chin. There we go. Okay, you gotta hit these things in the chin. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing now. Oh yeah. Getting a lot closer now. Chin shots. It's all about the chin. Or the lower jaw, I guess. That's probably really close right there. Let's take a look. I don't want to shoot her. Okay, no, it just started dropping back down. There she goes. Okay. Put my arrows back. Yeah, this is a pretty fast torpedo drop, but we'll be fine because we're really close to the base. Okay, let's go make some kibble for this thing. Uh, Dota Dex is saying seven, I think. And um, and we'll get some narcotic too. We may not need the narcotic though with the kibble, we'll see. But we'll have it just in case. So. I'm not exactly sure how the mechanics work of using higher level kibble with a lower level Tino. It works, I just don't know if it's more potent than the normal stuff. Um, let's see here. So it's saying we need seven superior kibble. And that is what egg is superior kibble. Aloe, RG, Moss, Chops, Tapahara. Yeah, I don't even have enough. I don't have a female Aloe yet. In fact, I don't have a female RG either. Megalania, Megalosaurus, Moss, Chops, Spina, Saurus. Okay. So, regardless, we're going to have to make the exceptional kibble anyways. And let's just assume... Um, well, you know what? We, Archie, go on and on, try game. We can make one superior kibble and then let's make, let's just make all of these into ex uh, exceptionals. Cause why not? We're going to need them for other things anyways. Um, do I have a, uh, let's put a tracker on that thing. So the, the tracking used to just happen automatically and then it stopped. I don't know why. Why that is. I don't know if I did something to stop it or if they changed something in the game. I don't know. So I have to turn it on now. 
All right, so let's see for um, for superior, we're gonna need those, and for exceptional, we're gonna need those. All right, so let's go with let's do the superior first. We're gonna need two citronelles. We're gonna need that's all we're gonna need for veggies. We're gonna need one prime jerky. I miss S plus where you could just pull the stuff right in. <laughs> That's okay. S plus made things a little too easy in some in some ways. Uh, we need one tree sap. Okay, we got the egg and the water already. Oh, just need fiber. Okay. Okay, turn this guy on. And we'll make one superior. Now we can get rid of that. Okay, so we'll keep the fiber in there. Oh, we gotta make focal chilies. Um, we have mayo berries. We're gonna need wildflowers, which I think I have in here. Yeah, so let's grab some of those. Uh, we got the berries, we got the fiber. We got the eggs, so yeah, we just need to make 10 focal chilies. Okay, so let's put this back in here. Uh, I have six already. Whoa. Yeah. So let's get six started, and then I'll make four more after these. I like the splash noise that it makes. That's funny. Okay. Let's grab all of the major perishable items back out of here. I don't really care about the berries so much. Okay, let's feed it the superior first. There we go. All right, we're going to call you Nurse Piggy. Welcome to the family, Nurse Piggy. Um, oh shit, you know what? I forgot about that. I shouldn't have put all the kibble in there because she ate them all. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, whatever. We, it is what it is. I, I completely forgot about that. I wish they didn't do that. What, what the hell, man? But they do, so. This is great, though. We got ourselves a really nice high-level Daydon, which is going to be super useful for healing. Um, both, you know, just if we bring dinos back that are banged up, uh, and of course, eventually for bosses. Let's just drop you down in here. You can meet your new friends. Uh, you don't need to be following me. Yeah, she's good. Okay. All right. So, I have my narcotic this time. We still have the UD saddle. We can use prime meat for whatever uteranus we find. Let's go try this again. That was a very worthwhile distraction. Okay, we got a ute over here. Let's see what it is. It's a level 20 female. Um, I'll take another female, too. For sure. The question is, can we get her before she gets herself killed? Yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of enemies around right now. Well, let's see if we can kill this mammoth. We're probably going to get feared. Uh, she's not going to survive. No way. In fact, yeah, she's pretty much as good as dead. Okay. Well, that's the way it goes. Oh. Here's a, an Alpha Carno. What level are you, dude? 95 female. Ouch. We could kill it. Um, well, if we're going to work in this area, we need to kill it. I'd like to have a little more health than I currently do. All right. Let's get full stamina. And um, if we really start getting... Well, see, the problem is there's... 
too many other critters around too, and if it eats them, then it's gonna heal. So if we're gonna kill that thing, we need to get rid of the other creatures first. All right, uh, RG's mostly healed, about uh, eighty percent. So let's uh, get this party started. See so if we can soften this up just a little bit before it gets over here. Wow, 136 damage. To, I don't know if we can do this or not. We gotta to really watch the health of the bird here. Oh, this is better. Okay. We gotta get out of it. It Try and keep it from headbutting nuts uh, as much as possible because that's what's really dangerous. Uh-oh, I'm kind of stuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's a bit much, I think, for... Uh, and it's going to eat that thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do this. Um, we might be able to, but I don't want to risk this bird, you know? Um, so let's do this instead. Let's at least pull it away from this area. Let's pull it off over this way. Yeah, he was thumping us good, man. And, um, it looks like it's maybe a little bit bloody, but, with a, you know, as with a lot of these alphas, it's just hard to say sometimes, tell sometimes, um, how bloody they actually are because they're, a lot of them are red, you know? Okay, I hear a Yudi. It is a 20 male. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, you know what I need to do, though, actually? i got to pick these things up. Okay. Let's start trying to pick off its minions. We're probably going to get feared a few times, but that's all right. That's the way it goes. Killed all its carnos. He's attracting all these datons. Oh, that's a different UD. I was gonna say, I just killed all these carnos. What the hell, man? That's a 45 female. Okay. Not really interested in her so much. rid of your current victim. Okay, now come over here. We need to get it pissed off at us. All right, we're we're scared now. I wish there was some kind of like anti-fear potion that you could feed your critter to make it immune for a short period of time to this, you know. <laughs> okay, here, let's grab this. Fortunately, we were able to escape the fear. Now, is it on us? Not yet, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to land right here. We're going to send it a little present. Oh, it's trying to get to... Oh, shit. Here it comes. <laughs> it's trying to get to the... Hey, wait. Where are you going? To the data on I left up in the sky. Uh, 
Here it comes. Ah, shit. We, I think we might have gotten it in the trap, but of course, can't do anything right now. Not quite. Okay. No, you can't join your uteranus friend. I don't want to damage the UD. He's like so fixated on that. Oh, shit. What level are you? I, uh, I couldn't tell. We just got rid of your brother. Only in level 35. That's not as bad. Um, alright. You're gonna cause us some serious trouble. Gotta... Yeah, I... Mm, this is too risky. Okay, well, you know what? The Alpha Carno won't mess with the UD if it's still awake. Um, so we got to try and get it in the pin. It's kind of cool that that Dadon's, those Dadon's got it distracted. Uh, I guess we're, yeah, we're gonna have to draw this guy off. What's this Ute over here? That's a 35 male, I think it said. Okay. Let's eat this to get some health back on the bird. Our other guy's kind of getting far away from us now. Uh Oh, did he get killed? I don't even see him now. Yeah, this is not an easy critter to tame not by any stretch of the imagination it is quite challenging okay that's the 35 male okay let's um Start sending him a little bit of drink. This isn't actually that helpful because unless we can get him in the cage pretty quick, he's going to lose his torpor. So, yeah, let's not do that. I'm just wasting arrows. There's another Alpha Carno. I don't know if it's the same one, but... Where'd he go? Oh, did he fall down? Ooh, that could possibly work to our advantage. Not with an Alpha Carno down there, though. Is he fighting a Therry? Yeah, I think he's fighting a Therry. What level is the Therry? It's a 55, and its health is halfway down. Hmm. Okay, they killed the Therry. That guy is cause for concern, man. Now, now that's the 95 female, or it's another 95 female. Oh, what happened to the to his minion? Is it dead? I don't see it. Okay, let's um give him a, just a little bit of a nip. See if we can get him to chase us. Why does that frickin' Alpha Carno have to be here right now? Because this wouldn't be a bad place to drop this guy otherwise. Oh, man, nothing's ever easy, I swear.
wonder if he can fear me from here. If he does and makes me run off the edge of the cliff, we're toast. <laughs> oh, I hear a wolf. I heard his growling like right in the nick of time. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he has not, he's got no torpor at all. Okay, yeah, we're just... Let's see if we can kill these... These uh, wolves harassing him. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, though, even if I do get him down with that carno there. Is that an Alpha Raptor down there now? <laughs> Might as well be. Oh, he's coming up here for me. No, I don't think it was. I think it was just a feared Raptor. Yeah. If I can manage to knock it out, I don't know if the Alpha Carno will mess with it. It certainly will if we go near it, but they have a really slow torpor drop, so there's a long shot for a crossbow. Okay, um, all right, let's just follow him because he's, at least he's running away from the Alpha Carno. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Follow me. It's a good thing I got that good armor on, huh? go Whew. oh man <laughs> he didn't he didn't really damage us though look at our health in the lower right hand corner we're we're actually fine because we got some badass armor on right now thanks to those drops we got still that's a little unnerving we got managed to get a, quite a few bolts into him all right where'd he go you follow me. It's only doing 10 damage per bite. That's nothing. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Passive, passive, passive. Going head to head with a Uteranus. That's my idea of a good time. Oh, crap. We got an Alpha Raptor there. I think I might be torpor running. Why do the freaking alphas have to show up when we're trying to do this, man? Things are so damn fast. Oh, now hyenas show up. Of course they do. Man. 
and we're feared. Now, do you still have any torpor left? Oh yeah, you're just about knocked out. Okay. It, oh, you know what? It's torpor running, that's why. Um, got all these damn hyenodons around is a problem. Okay, we gotta try and get another bolt or two into it. Um, man, if we could get it stuck for a second. Please get stuck on something for a second. down. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> if we drop it right on top of the saber that kills it. Oh, okay. Have I mentioned to you guys what our absolute Bonafide royal pain in the ass it is to tame these things. Few things are worse. Some things are, but few things are. Oh man. Okay. This is what it is. If at tenth you don't succeed, try and try again, right? Uh what what the hell's wrong with me? I need to eat something. Okay. Well, let's go back to the, the taming pen and and see if um, there's another candidate. Look at the colors on that thing. 60 female. Not good enough. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Hey, we managed to get this one down. Uh, we lost a little bit of armor in the process, but hey, we got it down. Whew, okay. Uh, the sort of kind of bad news is that this is a female, but I mean, we need females for eggs, so it's not a completely bad news. Uh, I would have preferred a male so we could breed them, but we'll come back for a male later. So this is a level 15 female. I think that's about the same level as the one that we got... Uh, that I got the first time too. So we're going to stand this up. I'm going to then try and very carefully get it back home um, by taking a judicious route. <laughs> uh, we're kind of in a bad spot right here. I, I, you know, we're deep, deep into the winter biome here. So uh, yeah, I'm not... Not sure exactly how we're gonna do this, but I'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll do the best that I can to try and get this thing home. Maybe what we ought to do is is try and come along through here, get to the glacier, and then we can come along the glacier. Uh, well, you know what might be better is for us to get to the glacier, get down to the beach, and then take the beach along, and then maybe cross over through here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, it took me quite some time to, to finally find one that I could get knocked down and, um, yeah. So, 
All right, I'll bring you guys back when uh, she stands up. Okay, Mrs. Egg 2, because Miss Egg 1 is already back at the base. Give you that. Take that away from you. Now for the hard part. <laughs> getting this thing back without getting it killed, you know, because it is super low level, so... Yeah. Um, alright. So... We might as well give you a buff. Oh, that's the wrong key. I think it's, um, C? Yeah. There we go. I think we have to apply it a couple times. Uh, but it, the thing is, is it uses its stamina, so... Um, while we're heading back... It's got 17 health. Yeah, we're probably going to put most of the points into stamina, a few into health. And then once we get it back home, then, then everything goes into health. Uh, but we just need a little more stamina than what we have. All right, October Sky, it's your job to keep us safe on the way home. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, we made it home. Yay. Safe and sound. So we now have two female Uteranus for egg laying purposes. But we got to get a male because you need the mate boost to stimulate um, the egg laying as well as, um, you know, the Auburaptor. Okay, so you should be on passive. And say hello to your new friend, Mrs. Egg. Mrs. Egg 1. Alright, what do you got for eggs? One Anki egg? What the hell, man? Get busy. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And um, I think in the, in the next episode, well, you know what? Before I let you go, we might as well see what this yellow drop is. Uh, next episode, we're going to just keep going after more Uteranus because, because the very next thing we need to do to progress is start, you know, taming uh, dinos, therazinos in particular. That's what I'm really going to be targeting. Um... But I want to have a nice collection of extraordinary kibble uh, and or exceptional kibble, either one, for theories, before we start doing that. So so right now, I'm just going to keep going after Yudis, just low-level Yudis in the wild. Of course, if we find a high-level one, we'll try and tame that, too, um, and, you know, keep going from there. So let's see what we got here. Uh, another freaking worthless plesiosaur saddle thank you game appreciate that good lord um i'll never tame those damn things i mean i have had them in the past but i just don't like them because they're they're kind of hard to control and they're just you know they're worthless against the eels and the jellyfish so yeah anyway whatever okay is what it is when once we get the grinder built we'll throw that thing in the grinder and get some materials for it anyway all right, guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.